The football story presents a football legend, Michel Francois Platini, born in Joff on June 21, 1955, is a former French footballer, midfielder, former coach, and sports executive. Platini was born in Rue Saint Exupéry in Joff, a French commune located in the department of Meurthe et Moselle, in the Lorraine region. In his family, originally from a great Conturbia, in Piedmont, and from the province of Belluno on his mother's side, the sports culture was deeply rooted. His grandfather, Francesco Platini, was an Italian bricklayer who had emigrated overseas, becoming a restaurateur and managing a bar named Café des Sports. His father, Aldo, was a mathematics professor who, in his free time, became the captain of the Jovincen team and later the coach of Nancy, at the time in the third division. His mother, Anna Piccinelli, served liqueurs in her father-in-law's establishment. Platini began his career in the youth ranks of A.S. Jove, where he developed his fundamental skills. After overcoming various challenges, he joined Nancy in 1972, quickly showcasing his talent and contributing to the team's promotion. Later, Platini moved to Saint-Étienne, winning the French championship in 1981. In 1982, he joined Juventus in Italy, immediately becoming a key player for the team. Platini, a trequartista with remarkable technical skills, excellent vision of the game, and an innate goal-scoring sense, proved to be more prolific than many attackers of his generation, thanks in part to the latter characteristic. During his years at Juventus, he developed good heading ability, completing his repertoire with headed goals and was also an efficient penalty taker. Considered one of the best free-kick specialists in history, often bypassing the opposing wall, they were nicknamed Alla Platini to indicate the uniqueness attributed to him. His technical ability and leadership qualities earned him the nickname Lo Roi the King. With Juventus, he won numerous titles, including two Serie A championships, a UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, and a European Cup. Platini became the top scorer in Serie A in the 1982 1983 season and won the Ballon d'Or in 1983. In 1984 1985, Platini continued to dominate Italian football, contributing to Juventus' victory in the European Cup and the UEFA Super Cup. He won his second Ballon d'Or in 1984 and remained a key figure at Juventus until his decision to retire from playing football in 1987 due to physical problems. Considered one of the greatest footballers in the history of the sport, he occupies the fifth position in the special ranking of the best footballers of the 20th century published by World Soccer Magazine, and the seventh position in the list compiled by the IFFHS. FIFA also placed him fifth in the ranking of the best number tens in the history of football. And in March 2004, Pele included him in the FIFA 100, the list of the 125 best living footballers, drawn up on the occasion of the FIFA centennial. In his long playing career, during which he played over 650 matches for clubs and the national team. After retiring from playing football, Michel Platini took on the role of coach of the French national team from November 1, 1988 to June 17, 1992, without achieving significant successes. Subsequently, Michel Platini embarked on a managerial career, becoming vice president of the French Football Federation from 2001 to 2008 and holding the same position in the FIFA Executive Committee from 2002. In 2007, Platini won the elections for the presidency of UEFA, and was re-elected in 2011 and 2015.